Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's Ryan from Mr. Apple Gaming here on the t here with a tutorial on how to get the run.bat file to work for Windows Vista or Windows 7. I mean, um, because people who had Windows 7 could not get it to work. So here we go. You're gonna go to download. Craft Bucket's latest build, Craft Bucket recommend a build like you usually would. And instead of just downloading the run.bat file that I gave you in the other video, you're going to get open up Notepad and you're going to copy and paste this into it. So you're going to copy control C or just copy like that and then control V or paste it like that and you're going to save that here hold on okay so um, when you are saving you're gonna save as you're gonna your desktop and your the file that or the folder that has all has um, the craft bucket and minecraft mineshafter server in it I'm gonna save it as run dot bat and save as type all files and you're just gonna save it excel excel of bucket.org now you're gonna rename this you're gonna take out the dash enter and you're gonna take out all of these numbers and just leave it as craft bucket now you're gonna run it and bam there you go sorry I didn't you know try to fix this before but uh this should work actually it will work not it should it will so now you're just gonna click stop um, I would say go back to the other video, but I'm not going to do that. I'll just finish it right here so you guys don't have to wait or don't have to go to a whole nother video. So here, go to Ryan's World as that. You can say, you can write this as whatever you want. It's just the message for people whenever they log in. It's going to be like, uh, players 10 out of 20, and then it's going to be like Ryan's World. Um, max players is however many players you want to do. View view distance, no clue. PVP true if you want. Uh, on online mode false, you have to change that to false. Um, whitelist true. Uh, no, actually whitelist false. Sorry about that, guys. Um, server IP is your Hamachi. Okay, you guys, sorry about that. Uh, you're going to open up Hamachi. Um, find it. I think it's in Log Me and Hamachi. Log Me and Hamachi. All right, open up your Hamachi. Um, I'm not sure if I have taught, showed you guys how to create a network yet or not, but this is how you do it. See, I have a bunch on right now. Here, I'm about to leave that one. Um, we'll leave that. Oh, it's mine. Delete it. And that's mine that I use. So we're going to create a new network. I'll call it Windows 7 Tutorial. Password 123. Oh, that's right. I just did it. Windows 7. We'll name it. Yeah, you're going to have to go through a lot because people use a lot of stuff. But... Your friends are going to have to join that. You're going to tell your friends, yo, don't go download LogMe and Himachi. Tell them to join an existing network and give them your ID, which is Windows 7 Tutorial, and your password is 123, like I just did. And now you're going to click up there. It doesn't matter, right click, left click. You're going to copy IPv4 address, and you're going to put it in the server IP. Just paste it into there. Um. Label, label name is whatever you want to do it. I'll call mine Ryan. Now just save it. Now you're going to go to bucket. Uh, first this is, at first this is a properties file, but you're going to just double click it. And it's going to tell you to uh, select, uh, open it with a list of install, uh, installed programs. And you're going to choose notepad. Same with bucket YML file. And you're going to go to warn on overload false. Spawn radius is going to be 1. 
use exact login location is true. Um, if I'm going too fast, guys, I'm sorry. Um, but um, I think I'm pretty sure that's it. That is it. You save. Now you're gonna run this again. And you have to have log me and Himachi, by the way, running while the server is running, because that's what it powers the internet from. But it should do this. It should prepare the spawn area two or th two or three times. I think two times. Yeah, three times. Three times. But the third time is gonna go super fast. And now, once you're here, you can X out of everything except keep the command, keep the run dot bat open. Minus out of that. Now you're gonna open up your mine shafter. I just have mine in a folder to keep my desktop cleared out. You're gonna log in. Multiplayer. And then your add server. Server name. It works. Server address is your IPv4 address. Should still be copied. You're gonna paste it into there. Done. Bam, and it works like a charm. And thank you. Um, subscribe, comment, like, share it. Tell all your people that can't get it to work. And thank you.